These are the reasons why Stepan is a project that stay for long. This is how. So Stepan is not only an NFT, it's a move to earn, earn a crypto. How you look at it is number one, look at it as an application. Back then when everybody is talking about apps, look at Ubo, Facebook, or even though for Lazada or Grab, at the beginning they don't make a single sense. Actually based on the apps, potential growth and user base is the key success. And Stepan have the elements of data and also with the details of the user base. Number two, user base. Stepan is not easy to go in. Number one, you need the activation code. And subsequently, people that go in, especially my friend, there's about 70% people go into Stepan. It's not because of money, but because of the movement. It's very interesting that they can draw and also at the same time earn a crypto. And based on the whole movement, it's very interesting. So unlike play to earn, because play to earn sometimes you are able to get manipulate, and in Stepan it's not easy to get an activation code. So it actually restricts the user and it's not easy to start up as well. So you won't get a very huge dump by a particular user or player and you will need to really sweat it out and earn that crypto. So with that in mind, the user base are more likely to be more motivated and are more healthy in this sense and they are very consistent. Number 3. Ecosystem. Every transaction in Stepan app, there is a fee. For example, if you buy and sell, they will charge a 6% fee. When you swap from the spending wallet to the wallet, they will charge you GST. And if you're going to swap and do trade, they will get 0.5% percent sleep pitch as well so every level up they will burn GST every repair they will burn GST it's a physical burning mechanism and also last but not least is minting aka breeding every breeding you will burn GST and GMT that is why when you see the crypto you have no idea why GMT and GST are so pumped so with the tokenomics it's cut out full fledged and it's more completed so another thing as mentioned, this is an app. Just imagine if they're based on user interface, they just launch an e-commerce to sell sneakers inside. Can you imagine that how strong is the ecosystem they're going to be? This is not in their roadmap, it's just based on my imagination that what can we do as a brand extension. Do not forget, this is still a beta phase. There's more function like rent out the sneakers and let other people to earn the GST, the crypto, without buying a sneakers by just renting out. So there's so much possibility, but again, this is non-financial advice. This is based on my opinion that I feel that why Stefan, it has so much room to grow.